July, a countless number of rehearsals took place. The projector's chance to enthrall the audience comes toward the end. What will serve as the screen is a gigantic inflatable house. Images of UK's pop culture will be projected onto this screen one after another. The house must be inflated very quickly in the short interval between scenes. If it doesn't inflate in time, like during this rehearsal, the images and the shape of the screen will not match, ending in a rather embarrassing result. In addition, because it's an inflated screen, it will inevitably be a little skewed. Edo fine-tunes all the projectors remotely to account for the distortion. Day after day, they worked deep into the night. Finally, the day of the opening ceremony. During the actual ceremony, even those involved couldn't get inside the stadium. Matsumoto and Ido decided to watch the opening ceremony in the staff room at a hotel. Now all there was left to do was wait. When the wind blows, the screen expands. I worry about whether the images will fit. I'm hoping that the wind will die down. I'm very nervous. <laughs> My heart is pounding. The rehearsal went well, so I think it will be okay. the opening ceremony began. Gradually, the part where projectors were to play a key role was approaching. I know it's going to be okay, but I'm still nervous. I can't take this. People all around the world are watching this. Will the screen inflate in time? A gigantic screen house appeared on TV. Images from the 20,000 lumen projectors were overlapped on the screen. Oh, that's great. Yeah, that's amazing. It's quite bright, and I think it's going well. The screen managed to inflate in time, too. They are bright enough. The images contrast well. Good job. Yeah, they're doing a great job. The scenes look excellent. That was fantastic. Don't you think the projectors played an important role? Yes, absolutely. Ah, it's ended. That was great. Yes, it was. Four years were dedicated to creating the 20,000 lumen projector. Matsumoto was overcome with a wave of relief. It was great. Everyone's efforts really paid off. Ido, on the other hand. My wife just sent me an email. What a great opening ceremony. 
The images were beautiful. She had been worried for us as well. His wife was hoping for the best all the way across the world from Japan. The big moment ended without incident. The next day, we spoke to Bill Morris, the director of the opening ceremony. Did the projectors fulfill the needs of the director? The projectors are, are frankly uh, are the best I've seen, both in terms of power and clarity. They were really, really excellent. Uh, and I would say just as important as the technology itself was the great support we had from, from the team in Panasonic. They supported us both technically and in service right the way through the process, dealing as everyone has to on ceremonies with some last minute changes and some additional requests. It was, uh, it was a great partnership. Through projectors, bonds were forged between people. It gave us a glimpse of how wonderful manufacturing can be. Rather than setting the Olympic Games as our target, we would like to develop products that make our customers happy, while bearing in mind the needs of the Olympic Games and making our products highly functional and user-friendly. Projecting images onto a big 20-meter house, like we did in the opening ceremony, or onto buildings. Demand for outdoor use is increasing. So I felt that we need to make projectors that are flexible from various different aspects. Their London 2012 challenge has ended. But these two men are already looking beyond at the future to come.